We have partnered with Sherwin Williams for Live at Home Week. Tune in each morning for a chance to win a $5,000 prize, including a $250 Sherwin Williams gift card and our Watch to Win sweepstakes. Look out for the live or live uh, home <laughs> tune in to win questions and answers. Then go to our website, kellyandryan.com, to enter. And speaking of paint and tips, here she is, Monica Mangan. Many people don't know that I'm often asked to come over and help people paint their homes. Are you? So this is going to be kind I'll of what I'm used to. I'll let you take it away to. then. Yep. <laughs> Monica, I, I where it. do we begin? Yeah. Because when it, when it comes to paint, as you can see, there's no shortage of swatches, places so to go, colors. how do we choose, right. what are we looking for? So okay. people originally, like right out of the gate, you think of color, and that's yep. the challenge. But we're actually talking about paint finish, and the finish of your paint can make the same color look completely different. So oh. we're going to focus on the finish today. And yeah. you guys each have a little card there in front of you. Okay. It kind of runs a spectrum, okay? We're going to go all the way from flat up to glossy, and we're going to work our way through. Think of it this way. Flat is the least shiny, uh -huh. glossy is the shiniest, flat like is the, the shiny. hardest to wash, glossy is the easiest to wash. Is that right? true? It is true. Oh. I'm going to keep telling you about it. Great, great. Okay, right. so we're going to start with flat. So you have a lot of paint in there, so just try and put a little bit on your roller there. This is flat paint. Flat paint, think of it guys like the concealer of paint. It hides blemishes, it has a lot of pigment, it's not reflective, so I really like flat paint. <laughs> oh, you really like flat paint? I really even like though you, flat even paint. Even though it's hard to wash. Well, here's the thing. So back, I feel like growing up, I would help my dad on home improvement projects and it was like, flat paint, never use it, can't wash it. Science has come a long way and they have washable flat and washable matte. Sometimes they use those names interchangeably and it can sound really confusing, but it's it's not, there's just simple things. So flat, oh. I love it, no shine, pretty easy to clean. Look not too crazy. With a DIY Doing good. A lot of people don't nice realize color. I've been working on um, Monica's uh, yeah, bed and breakfast. She's my, she's yeah, my yeah, contractor she's at the cottages. All right, All right next, next we have eggshell. And I actually have an egg there for you. And yes. Ryan, I hard boiled these because last time I learned the lesson and you threw an egg on the ground and it was not hard boiled, okay? That's all right. Ryan how do you throw an that, egg on the ground. That's how I break my eggs. Me. So eggshell paint has the luster of about an eggshell. And it's a step up from flat. It's a little easier to clean. So take your sponge there. I have like a dirty wall, like animal kids. They're super messy. With the egg Shell, you can just wash it clean, With the but it shell? still has eggshell finish, not the egg. Oh, the egg like, was like a stamp. Um, it is. Oh, that's, it's a soft that's a soft egg. boiled egg. Just soft FYI. Soft boiled egg. I just can't the win I like with it. the eggs in you, Ryan. Well, that is easy to clean, so right, wash next. it out. All right, next we're on to different trims. Gentlemen, I can't that believe that was All right, here we go. All right, with your trim, you have semi-gloss and gloss. So right. the first one that you have there is semi-gloss. Okay. That's going to give you a nice sheen. It is going to be super durable. So like, uh -huh. you know, feet hit it, strollers hit it, things. Okay. All, everything's always hitting doors. It's really good for doors, windows, trim. Then the gloss... You'll want that really only if you're making a statement. Like, Kelly, if you wanted to do a Kelly super glamorous a room, you could do gloss. We have a glossy door. Oh. Right, and it's super Not glamorous. Not to brag. Right? <laughs> Fancy. <Show off. laughs> Just that one. Just the one. <laughs> Just the one. So okay. you can only That's handle our... the responsibility of one glossy door. One thing. glossy door. Okay. okay. We're back with Monica Megan. What else? Hi, Monica. Hi. We are going to talk about what to use to apply the paint that you've chosen. Yes, yes. We You are. mean as opposed to the brushes we just So used. the applicator matters. So we're going to start with rollers, okay? okay? Rollers are great. You guys are going to start up top, all right? Up You're going to roll up top. What Ryan, if you can't reach up top? You can. I, I strategically made the height oh, for you guys. I'm, I'm smart. Up so, here. Kelly, you have a smaller roller, okay? And like foam rollers, yep, go for it. Start rolling. All right, there's a bunch of different types of rollers depending on the surface that you are painting. Right. If you have a really, it's called a nap, is what we call it. If you have a really thin nap, that's uh -huh. good for smooth surfaces. Uh -huh. If you have a nap like this guy, look at this one, Ryan. That's a huge Feel one. Feel that. That's great for like oh. something, isn't that nice? It's something really textured, brick. Multiple uses. This stuff. is great. <laughs> yes, it's a, a shower loofah. <laughs> Very nice. If you have a big area to paint, you're going to want to use a roller, okay? <laughs> In the trunk of Ryan's car, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we have brushes. Now, brushes, you know, you're going to end up with paint on your Okay. Makeup. Yep. So, brushes are great for detailed areas. So, here we have kind of like something that could look like trim, maybe the edge of a window. Brushes get in there. Now, one tip for brushes is you want an angled brush. 
angled. See how it's angled? Yep. Oh, I do see that. That really gives you more control. Okay. okay. All right. And then last but not least, your sprayer. Okay? So oh. pick up your sprayers right there to I'm your left. I'm very nervous Kelly. that Ryan has a sprayer. <laughs> well, look in. at your sprayer. Your <laughs> sprayer does not have paint in it because okay. I know you two and That's I don't smart. trust you even a little <laughs> bit with there paint. So let me just Thank you. That's the last time Monica's coming on. <laughs> so trust I'm going to show you how nice. this works. Well, right? nice okay. oh. Should I trust you with that? Yes. No. <laughs> so a sprayer is great for Kelly, big areas. It. It's all in the prep. Kelly, That's do it. That's amazing. Kelly, do it. Do it, do it no, Kelly. No, no, no. I, I... Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go to kellyandryan.com for all of Monica's tips. Last time she's going to be here after I'm that. Sorry. It was nice. It was fun.